Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Barry. I do Tesla POV style content focusing on Tesla's full self-driving software and capabilities. It is 21 degrees Fahrenheit outside with a feels like temperature of five degrees. We're about to go out on a cruise. I am running version 13.2.2 for Tesla's FSD. So I'm gonna go ahead and press and hold this button here to engage full self-driving. The car is now going to autonomously drive itself to our destination. So again, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. If you like this type of content, definitely consider hitting the subscribe button. We're really growing the channel very fast, so it's awesome to see that. And I appreciate all the feedback on my previous videos. So we'll see how the FSD does today on these Arctic temperatures here. It's very, very cold. Like I said, it's 21 degrees Fahrenheit with a feels like temperature of about five to six degrees with the wind. So the roads are mostly salted and I don't think we have much ice right now, which is good. We have a branch here. Tesla decided to run over that, did not avoid that. So choppy start there, but we'll see how the rest of the route goes here. Uh, that was an interesting uh, turn that it did there. Uh, it was one lane, but I think the, I think FSD thought it was two lanes perhaps. So it changed lanes over to the left hand side, almost like it was two lanes, but really it was one lane in reality. We have the clear road here to go. So we went, FSD went for that very nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to hurry profile. And if things get a little bit too choppy, I'll lower that back down to standard. But right now we're going 33 and the speed limit zone we're in is a 45. So again, we'll see how it reacts here in very, very cold temperatures. I did learn recently that in these types of temperatures, Tesla does disable its regenerative style braking system. And instead it uses the onboard brake and the reason for that is because it's simply too cold for regenerative style braking to operate in a normal way. So they disable that and they instead use the onboard braking system and you don't get any regenerative braking back into the battery. So that is one thing that I've noticed. You can enable the car to still slow down when you release your accelerator that just uses instead of regenerative style braking and sending charge back to the battery. All that does is just use the onboard braking system. So you still have the option to slow down when you remove your foot off of the accelerator. So you don't lose that functionality, but you do lose the regenerative charge back into the battery. So right now FSD is using just the onboard braking system. There is no regenerative braking. So we'll see how that does in this route today. As you can see, most of the roads here are somewhat clear, so it's well salted and I don't see any snow or ice, which is great. We are projected to get a bunch of snow tomorrow. So if you're in the path of this 2025 winter storm, definitely be on the lookout for snow. We're uh, expected to get, I think in my area, anywhere from five to 10 inches. That could change over the next couple hours, but. Yeah, we're definitely going to be getting a lot more snow here uh, over the next 24 to 48 hours. We'll be approaching this roundabout here. We have some moderate traffic slowing down very nicely for it. And we have a clear road, so no cars coming into the left here. FSD is doing a nice job turning around the roundabout very nicely and smooth. So we'll be coming up on this traffic light up here in about a tenth of a mile we should be making this left hand turn here we'll see how it does here so the blinker is on and we'll be making this left turn very little traffic coming our way so we have a clear route perfect very nicely done there very nicely done by fsd we're entering we're entering a 40 mile per hour speed limit zone here with a bit of a windy road up ahead right here very nice not a problem at all not a problem at all we're going to be maintaining hurry mode for the majority of this route and like i said if that proves to be a bit too dangerous in these types of conditions i will lower that to standard or chill but so far so good i hope everybody had a happy new year and i mentioned in my previous video that i will be doing a giveaway 
for all my appreciation and the new subscribers that uh, recently subscribed to the channel. So it's again very, really awesome to see all of you guys collaborating, leaving comments, um, reading each and every one of them. So I'm trying my best to respond to all of the comments. I am getting a lot, so it's taking me a little bit of time to get through, but I appreciate all the feedback. And as far as the giveaway goes, I am still waiting on the products to be delivered. I mentioned in my previous video, I'm working with a small business to just uh, order some small things for the channel and do a, a small giveaway. So once I get those products, I'll release the information and uh, we'll figure out a good way to do a random giveaway for you guys. But um, we'll be entering here on this on the upcoming traffic light we should be making a left hand turn so we'll see how fsd does here but overall version 13 has been absolutely amazing i don't expect to see any trouble in this type of weather although my charge will be depleting much faster than normal of course because we're just over 20 degrees fahrenheit here uh, apart from that i think fsd is going to do a very nice job so we're approaching this turn here making a left very nice very smooth not a problem at all no hesitations whatsoever so we'll be making a right in about a mile but we do have this traffic light coming up ahead very natural stop there as well i really like how tes tesla fsd slows down and if that light turns green upon the vehicle still slowing down so it hasn't come to a full stop it naturally picks up speed so it has no hesitation it really feels like i'm just a passenger in the control of a human driving which again is the goal for fsd so that's really really awesome to see uh, we got about probably three or four inches like i said earlier of snow so we do have a no turn on red here so we're going to be assuming the order here behind the Subaru. We do have the green arrow now, so we're gonna be making a right turn and we are clear to go. Very nicely done by FSD. And we're going to be making an immediate left lane change here into the left lane. Very nice, no hesitation at all. So far we have this green light up ahead and FSD is going right through, not a problem whatsoever. Black Subaru here is going into the left lane to make the left turn. We have this green light here, not a problem at all. This lane does merge for us, so we'll see how FSD does here. We have a vehicle behind us, probably about a tenth of a mile behind us, but the lane we are in right now does merge, so we'll see how it does here. All right, not a problem at all, no hesitation. So the lane did merge into one, it recognized nobody is behind us and it just assumed the lane very very nicely no problem we're going about 39 miles per hour now and we're i'm sorry we're going 40 now in a 35 so we'll be making this left turn here in a windy pretty windy road here If any of you guys are in the line of this storm, definitely let me know the winter storm of 2025. Leave a comment down below letting me know if you're in the path of the storm or not and how much snow you guys are expecting. Also, let me know if you're gonna be attempting to use FSD or not. I'm definitely leaning towards not leveraging FSD if we do get more than four or five inches of snow. Uh, I do not trust it that much quite yet, but definitely let me know what your thoughts are on FSD operating in heavy snowy conditions the way that it would be in the next couple days here at least for us we're going now 42 and a 35 and we should be making a left hand turn right up ahead here all right so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and disengage fsd from here and then what i'll do is end this trip on the navigation system and then what i'll do is just enable fsd and I'll let FSD decide where it wants to go from here. So it should take us out of this neighborhood here in just a minute, back onto the main road, and then we'll let it decide where it wants to go and see what kind of situations we can get into. We'll be making this right out of this neighborhood here, coming to a full stop, looking at the left side, no traffic. 
and FSD is going right for it. Very nice. A little close to the curb there. A little bit too close to the curb, but other than that, that was nicely done. So this road is now splitting into two lanes. It wanted to take this left-hand lane, but it noticed that that vehicle was waiting in line to turn left there. So that was really awesome to see. We were flying down that road at about 40, 41 miles per hour, and it turned its blinker on as soon as those two lanes split. But it had noticed that that car was in the far left lane waiting to turn left. So it passed that car first. It turned its signal off, then passed that car, turned its signal back on, got into the left lane, which we're in now, and then assumed the route going straight. So very cool to see that, very awesome decision there. Now we're in the left lane, but FSD is turning into the far right lane here, which is the lane to go straight. So we're approaching this red light here and then we'll be going straight from here. We have train tracks coming up right here. We'll see if it slows down and it is perfect, perfect. So again, previous versions did not slow down for train tracks like it just did. And I got a few questions from you guys on some of my previous videos. If it does indeed slow down for train tracks and speed bumps, there's a demonstration of that. So that was perfect. We went about 25 or so miles per hour over the train tracks, which is perfect. Exactly what I would be doing. So we slowed down from about going 40 down to 25. So really awesome to see that. This car, this Toyota is pulling over to the right. And you saw FSD slowed down, but not abruptly. So again, very natural speed to slow down. It didn't slow down too dramatically, slowed down just enough to let that car pass by. So really, really amazing to see that. We're approaching this red light here. We're gonna be making a right turn. We don't have any signs not to do so. So we do, we can be turning on right, on red. And we do, we have an opening and FSD just went right for it. Amazing, absolutely amazing, super confident. This lane does end, so FSD is recognizing that, and it's making its way over the left lane since this lane is ending. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Really, really awesome. We do have another set of train tracks about a tenth of a mile up ahead, so we'll see how it does here. These are not as bumpy, so we'll see if it slows down. It slowed down just a tad, just the perfect amount of speed. It kept up with the flow of traffic there to go over those uh, sets of train tracks since they're not as bumpy. All right, so I just put in a new destination for us. We'll be making a right turn here at this intersection. Very nicely done, super smooth, no problems whatsoever. We're entering a 35 mile per hour zone and we are still maintaining the hurry mode profile. So again, no issues with maintaining the hurry profile even in these snowy conditions while the roads are pretty clear and no ice or snow it is still very nice to have hurry mode enabled with these very very cold temperatures and allowing fsd to make the, the decisions that it is even in these types of situations and environmental factors as we approach this stop sign we should be making a right turn so we're slowing down for that very nicely I do not see any traffic on the left side, so we should have a clear drive ahead here. Perfect. Again, pretty close to the curb there, going over these train tracks, slowing down for those. Very nice, and now it's accelerating as it went past those train tracks, so super cool. Got some train tracks here. Again, not too bumpy here, but it did slow down very nicely for those, just a tad. It's interesting how it's making those decisions because I've had other situations where FSD is slowing down for larger train tracks more drastically. So it's slowing down a lot more than it is with some of the lighter train tracks. So it's interesting that it knows the difference there. I'm not exactly sure how it knows that, but it does. So I'm not complaining. It's, it's doing a fantastic job. Very, very nice job here making this right turn at this light here. Slowing down very nicely. We do have the green light, no traffic to the left. So we are have a clear road. Here we go, perfect. Very nicely done. I received a comment from one of you guys asking if FSD is intelligent enough to 
recognize a law enforcement vehicle that is taking speeds with radar or laser and uh, I don't have a good answer for that my assumption and my best guess is that it's not that intelligent that would be a very interesting feature though I think uh, the Tesla team might have some legality issues uh, with implementing that type of function at least I think but uh, it got me thinking about it for sure definitely a interesting thought but as far as I know I don't believe that that would be possible so I just ended the navigation here we'll see where FSD takes this takes us from here very nice you could see oh okay what the hell just happened there? Not exactly sure what just happened there. As you saw, it was waiting in line to make that left turn at the light. And all of a sudden, at the very last second, turned its signal off and then abruptly made a lane change into the right lane and then went straight instead of left there was a vehicle uncomfortably close to us and that was a close call I don't know exactly what happened there why I decided to turn right at the last second that was a little strange unsafe extremely unsafe Right, took that turn very quick into the plaza slowed down nicely for the pedestrians here on the right hand side that were crossing the road but it did take that turn very fast and again I guess that's the uh, the hurry mode kicking in but that was a pretty quick pretty quick turn there all right guys so as it starts snowing here I think I'm gonna wrap up this video as you can see FSD is performing very, very well in very cold conditions. So there was no problems whatsoever, almost no interventions necessary and A plus for FSD, even in 20 degree Fahrenheit weather. So again, thanks for tuning into today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, consider hitting the subscribe button to stay up to date with Tesla's FSD software. Thanks for the support and I'll catch you guys in the next one.